H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. The practicalities we have seen right now is moving a mouse on an object and right clicking on it and finding the coordinates of the object. So here also we have to use listeners. So I already have made the particular uh, package in the Selenium 21 project. If you look that, I'll open it up. I'll close all these files. There's a package called as mouse movement. Now what I'm going to do is that manually I'll show you. I'm going to actually go to Premier League. So I will, from top, I will scroll to Premier League. I will right click. Okay. And I will get the coordinates. That is the X and Y coordinates of Premier League. Cost of tickets. Now when Selenium runs it, it will scroll down to this particular position, but the right click will not happen. Okay, that is how it reacts. But you will get the coordinates of this particular link. You will get the coordinates of this particular link. So how we, how we are using it, that is what is important. So out here, there is a package called as mouse movement. Okay, there is a my listener class. The my listener class again extends the abstract web driver event listener class and this has certain methods called before click on method after click on method before find by element method after find by element method this will come into for before you click on a web element immediately before you click on a particular web element this method will come into force because this is part of the listeners right now this method will come into force immediately after you you do a click on before you find any element, this method will come into force, which is a method of your listener. And after you find an element, this method will come into force. These are all abstract methods present in this particular class called as abstract web driver event listener, which is a class which implements the event web driver event listener interface. And this has to be extended. This class has to be extended by my class, which is called as my listener class. And these are the abstract methods to be used which are present rather in your this particular class called abstract web driver event listener class okay this is what i have done after that i am use, using a class file called using mouse okay the first thing that you need to do is open up the firefox browser so what are the steps for that using mouse we will scroll down so we're going to scroll down out here to this particular portion and then we need to do right click manually we will see the right click but with selenium web driver script we will not see the right click and then we'll get the coordinates of this particular link. We'll get the coordinates of the same link. And the link is called as Premier League Cut Costs of Ticket. That is the procedure we're going to have. So first of all, I need to use uh, the Gecko driver for it. That this line of code can be copied and I can use it out here. I'll close this particular class file. Okay, so this is going to open up the browser. Then I'm registering my listener class with this class called using mouse class. How am I registering? I have told you earlier, you have to use the event firing web driver, which is nothing but a class, which is a wrapper around the web driver instance to register the web driver event listener interface with your using mouse class so i'm creating an object of this particular class and i'm the reference variable of this object is e driver and i'm passing on the web driver driver instance okay then i'm creating an object of the my listener class and registering my listener class with the register method of your event firing web driver class and that's why I'm passing on the my listen, which is nothing but the reference variable my listener object. Once I have done that, I'm navigating to bbc.com through the e driver reference variable, which is a reference variable of event firing web driver class. 
then I need to do the scroll down process. Where do I want to scroll down? On Premier League cut cost. And this is the X path of that. Okay. So I'm using the a particular class called Event Firing Mouse class. What is this class used for? Let's go to our um, Java Docs Event Firing Mouse class. You can see that. A mouse that fires events. It's basically nothing but a class which implements the mouse interface okay and this is used for firing events mouse events can be fired from here and this is the constructor event firing mouse you have to pass on the web driver and the web driver event listener so if you go to your script i've created an object of event firing mouse because i need to scroll down i need to do a right click right so i will have to do it with the event firing mouse class and I'm passing on the E driver, which is nothing but the reference variable of the event list, event firing web driver class. And this is passing on the driver instance. So actually, I'm passing on what? The web driver interface with as an argument of event firing mouse. And the other one is your my listener class. That is my listen. Is a reference variable of my listener object. And that is what is shown in the Java document also. Web driver instance and web driver event listener. Okay. The web driver event listener is defined by this particular variable called as my listen. Then I am using the e driver, which is a reference variable of event firing web driver class object. Okay. Find element by the x path of this. This is the x path of this particular link. Premier League cuts cost, cost of ticket. That is what I have used. And I have used a casting out here. That is a locatable casting. So what is locatable? You can just go to your Java documents and find out what is locatable. It's an interface by itself. It's a public interface. And this is the class which implements it. Okay. Okay. And that is what I have used out here. So I have casted the locatable interface with the even five ring web driver reference variable. Finding an element, I'm putting it to a return type, which is a locatable interface. Why I'm putting it to return type locatable? That is what it does. The return type is an even firing web driver. You can see that. And you are casting it with locatable that is why you are returning locatable again now. then i am using the get coordinate method of the locatable interface there is a method called as get coordinate methods of this particular interface called locatable and the return type of get coordinate is a coordinates which is nothing but your interface again and that is what i have returned coordinates and then I am using the mouse move method of the coordinates. There's a method called mouse move. With the e-mouse. E-mouse is nothing but the event firing mouse. So with the reference variable of the e-mouse, which is the reference variable of the event firing mouse object, I am moving the mouse okay mouse to this particular coordinate reference by c which is the reference variable of the coordinates out here and this will invoke an exception that is why i am using the try catch block then after that means this is going to scroll this is going to move the mouse to that particular area with the coordinates and then right click on the scrolled area that means it is going to right click on this area after scrolling down okay Manually, we will see the right click, but with Selenium Web Driver, you will not see the right click. And that is what is done. So, how do you right click? Use the E driver, which is a reference variable of event firing Web Driver class. Find element by the X path. X path is the X path of the same link out there. And we need to use the send keys method where I am using a coordination of keys shift F10. Keys dot shift, keys dot F10. So, if you do that, it will actually do a right click, strictly speaking. Besides, I do it with my mouse, I can use Shift F10 to do a right click. 
then after that you are using the method to get the coordinates of that particular link how do i get the coordinates the x and y coordinates you have to use the e driver reference variable find element method and this is the x path of the same link out here okay dot is a method called get location the return type of get location if you hover your mouse is a point and what is a point you can just go to the java docs and look at what is a point out here so point is a class and it has a lot of methods get get x get y in the return type is integer so that why that is why we have used the get location method in the return type which is a point and the point is referenced by p and then i can use sys out p dot x and p dot y which will give you the x and y coordinate of this link so let's run the class file save it i will close the browser and run the particular class file still the page is loading so it has come down you can check out it has come down and let's see what the script is doing you see these methods these bodies are coming these bodies are coming from the my listener class before you find an element after you find an element before you click after you click we are doing a right click this method will come into force and that is what it is coming okay you can check up the respective bodies of these methods and if you see these are the coordinates x and y coordinate this is the y coordinate this is the x coordinate of the premier link now if you see that the particular right click is not shown when the selenium web driver script is run manually you can see a right click happening but through selenium web driver script the right click will not be shown but you are getting the x and y coordinate of it this is how you can scroll down you see the scrolling had happened that is how you scroll down and that is how you do get the x and y coordinates of that particular web element so that's about it thanks very much thanks for the patience thank you